Okay, and now what we'll do is we have lights on as required, so we uh, rotating landing light, now we can go ahead and put it on. Radios are set to 1217 and 12425, that's the ground and that's tower, so that'll work. All right, and then what I do with this is I set up 118.52, and 52 is uh, ATIS. Wind zero four zero at zero six. Visibility one zero. Sky condition Q five hundred. Temperature one five Celsius. Dew point one three Celsius. Altimeter three zero three zero. Remarks. Density altitude minus three hundred. Good. Coastal Carolina Regional Brakes. Airport, Check. New Bern, North okay. Carolina. Automated weather observation. One three five four Zulu. Wind zero four zero at zero six. Visibility one zero. Sky condition Q five hundred. Temperature one five Celsius. Dew point one three Celsius. Altimeter three zero three zero. Okay, good. All right, so we are at about two three five. So we'll set that. Okay, and steering was good. Radio call. We'll make the radio call. We'll check everything on the way. Three, three, four, five, seven, three, three, two, three. <clears throat> okay. Newburn ground check. E three six two Romeo's and Proctor's looking at taxi. The active remaining in the pattern. Touch it goes. Number E three six two Romeo. Newburn ground runway four. Taxi via Bravo Alpha. We'll short of runway four at Bravo. Taxi Bravo Alpha. We'll short of runway four for runway. Four bus six to Romeo. Okay, so we're going out on Bravo, as you can see. That's that. Yeah. That's where we are. So we're going to taxi over. And in the meantime, what I do is I check like these instruments right here. Like this is one of the newer instruments that I put in, which is very reliable. It's uh, nicely set up to help me if something goes wrong with the alternator or whatever, and I lose uh, electric. Okay. And uh, what I do is I make sure that this is moving, and it is, and this is accurate, which it's not, and I can't wait till this is replaced. And I just kind of go back and forth a little bit, and I check that my turn coordinator here and my turn coordinator there is working properly, which it is. All right, so the throttle, compass, heading indicator, turn coordinator, attitude indicator all look so pretty good, so that's it. And then we just follow his direction to the runway. We'll go up and get a good view, and it looks like those clouds right there are not sure where they're going, but we'll keep an eye out. And if we need to avoid, we certainly can. We don't really go that high in the pattern. We usually go about a thousand feet. That's about it. Okay. And this is, um, we're on Bravo right now, and uh, we have to hold short because this is the runway right here, and you see there's somebody else in the pattern. And uh, somebody else was leaving. He said frequency change approved, so it's likely that they're probably going out. But this guy might be staying in the pattern, so we might have to kind of keep our eye on him. Okay. 6 2 runway, cross runway 4, Bravo, hold short of runway 3 2 at Alpha. Crossing runway 4 at, uh, at Bravo and holding short at 3 2 at Alpha, 6 2 Romeo. Alright, so he gave us, gave us direction to go across, so what we will do is go right across on. on uh, Undelayed or not delayed, and then uh, make sure to look both ways. Nobody's barreling down the runway. That, that's yeah, yeah. And then when we get over there, he'll probably give us clearance to just cross. Um, you know, three two at Alpha. Once we get across here, that's probably what he'll do. Crossing 32 at Alpha. Crossing 32 at Alpha, 62 Romeo. Oh, nice. Good job with that. <laughs> Victor, runway four, click for the option. Victor, okay. Cool. 
All right, everything looks like it's pretty good. We have uh, gas in the left tank, that's what we're on. Our amps look pretty good. Uh, we have fuel in the right tank as well, which is more than enough. Fuel pressure looks pretty good. Oil pressure is good. Oil temperature will go up when we run it a little bit higher. Okay, at 1,000, everything is really nicely set. Yep, and everything is working very nicely. Checklist, checklist, checklist. I gotta remember that, Jesus. How can I forget the mixture? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that controls the mixture of gas. Make it a little bit leaner. And actually, if you wanted to, you can, if they're hot, Dad, you can kind of open it and get some air in. Does that make you feel better? <laughs> Makes me feel better. It is, yeah, it does. Until we get up flying, it's really, it really does get warm pretty quick. That's one, one of the reasons why some people like the, um, why they like the, uh, uh, the high wing is because you get a little bit of, um, you get a little bit of protection from the sun, yeah, when you're taxing or when you're not as mobile, you know, which is kind of nice. I'm so excited we get to fly today, Dad. Oh, isn't that great? All right, so put my dad, put the microphone a little bit closer to your mouth so that when we're let, and, and give me a test. Test. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Yeah. Better. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> right, but the other time we came. The what? Planes were. Yeah. That's what. Yeah. All right, very good. Everything's looking good. Probably don't need our nav lights. Uh, beacon and landing light can stay on. That's good. Okay. So now what we what we do is oh, you can leave that open just for a second. It's fine. Yeah, until we actually go, we're all right. So I pull over here, and the wind is right down the runway, so we don't. I don't think I have to worry too much about that. Oh yeah, look at those clouds up there. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right, we'll see how long we can go. We'll see. All right. So now what we do with that is what's called the run up. Okay. And the run-up, uh, set the brakes, which they are. The mixture is full rich. This, we definitely need full rich here. Throttle up to 2,000. All right, seven, Victor, turn right, taxiway, Bravo. Hold short of runway 32 and Alpha. Okay, and then, uh, we're gonna take a look at both magnetos, so we're gonna go to that one first. Ooh. Okay, drop of 80. Good, back to, oh, wait a second. All right, let's try this again. Drop of about 100, that's good. Ground unit, Kevin. Drop of about eighty. That's good. Too. Roger. Proceeding to the island. Clear. Unit seven. Yep. Vacuum looks pretty good. Oil temperature will go up when we get up there. Oil pressure looks pretty good. Fuel pressure very good. Ammeter looks pretty good. Carburetor heat will check that. Should see a drop of about one hundred to one hundred twenty-five, one hundred fifty. That's pretty good. Throttle back to idle. Make sure it doesn't stall. And that's pretty good. And back to a thousand. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Electric fuel pump is off. And what we'll do is we'll get ready. Master switch is on. Flight instruments, uh, check. Everything looks pretty good. 30-30. Airspeed will check on the roll. A little bit high on that, but that's all right. That's normal. I know what that's supposed to do. Everything looks great. Fuel selector is on the proper tank. It's on the left. Electric fuel pump is on. Engine gauges. Carburetor heat is off. Seat backs are good. Mixture is set to full rich. Primer is in and locked. Seat belts, harnesses, are your seatbelt on? Yeah. Good. Empty seats. Uh, good. Laps are set. Trim tab is set to neutral. Controls are free and correct. We have. Oh, sorry, Dad. <laughs> I was okay. like, whoa, why is that not going? Up, down, up. Down and then up, down in the back. I can see very good. Doors. All right, let's latch the door. You ready? Yeah. Slam it. Did it close? Good. Grinding the seven is out of the ILS critical area. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
All right, takeoff briefing. We are at uh, holding short of runway four at Alpha, which is where we're supposed to be. Wind is going to be right down the runway at about six knots, which is good. Our board point is going to be halfway down the runway. Uh, by the time we get to the intersection, if we do not have sufficient airspeed, we will pull the uh, we'll pull the throttle and just let aerodynamic braking uh, bring us to a stop, okay? If we do get airborne and we develop engine trouble, which I do not uh, expect to happen, then what we'll do is we will slip it right back down to the runway. Uh, we'll pull uh, the gas, this will pop the door really quick, turn off the gas here, and then land it on the runway, uh, hopefully uh, error-free. If we do get to 500 feet, we can start making a gentle turn to the left and we can land on one of the taxiways or the runways trying to restart if there's time and we can pop the door closed off the gas and uh, land on the runway to safety. Okay, 1,000 feet is uh, the, ta uh, the pattern altitude at this and that's pretty much it. 30 minute timer set radio, radio call going over to the tower there and we'll call them and let them know that we are good to go. And that, the, to be honest, Dad, the, the, the um, emergencies, that's just regular. It oh, yeah. doesn't mean anything is going to happen. It's just, that's kind of what, what we do. All right. Newburn Tower, Cherokee 362, Rami is holding short of four at Alpha, ready to depart. Remaining in the pattern, touch goes. Delay 362, Rami, Newburn Tower, runway four, clear for takeoff, make left traffic, report east left, midfield downward. Clear for takeoff, runway four, make left traffic, report midfield left downward, each time for six to Romeo, thanks. Okay. And there we go. Looks like he's doing a couple of full stops. Good. Oh, Dad, here we go. We're ready. I am so excited. The guy behind us. Yeah, he's, he did a full stop and then he's taxiing back. I don't know who it is. It's probably a student because that's 87 uh, Victor. All right, so we'll pull out on. Uh, we have lights. Everything is good. Camera. Gas is good. Action. And then we're going to go barreling down the runway. Full power. A little bit of right rudder. Airspeed is alive. 70. Start rotating. Here we go. We're up. There we go. Tower 87 to Victor holding short runway 4 at Alpha, ready to take off for the pattern. Runway 987 Victor, new return. Runway 4, cliff for takeoff, make left traffic. Follow the Cherokee straight ahead and report east left midfield downwind. 87 Victor, cliff for takeoff. Runway 4, we'll go left hand trip. Uh, left hand pattern. Yeah, I see the clouds up there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're at 500, so we can make left traffic here. And we're going to about a thousand feet. Okay. There you go. <laughs> little bit of trip for you, Dad. Wait for that. Yeah. So we're turning left downwind. And I can pull back the power just a little bit because we're reaching our pattern altitude. So pull back to about 2100. Well, I'd say really 2200 on this because as you can see, I have a tack up there, All right? Looking good. Dad, Dad. Awesome. Isn't it great? It's great. All right, so we're at 1,000 feet. We're almost beating the numbers, and what we can do is we can start our descent okay. into the pattern. So I'll pull back here about 1,600, and we're already within flap range, so I can pull the full first notch of flaps, checking everything here with our 
gas and our mixture and power, everything is good, set up very nicely. And we have a nice descent of about 200 feet, but we can start to go a little bit. We're already at 95 knots, which is excellent. And right when I'm about to beam this field, I take my uh, my turn, yep, turn, take my turn, and we're about 95, so I'm maintaining 95, as you can see. Yep. And power looks pretty good. Nice coordinated turn. Nobody coming on final. And what I could do is I could get my second notch of flaps in here. Very good. And I can start my turn. Oh wow, they're taking a lot of these trees out down here. Crazy. So next time I have to do a better job of setting up my airspeed. My airspeed was a little high on that. And see, there's a little town in Newburn. There's the downtown, Dad. You see that? Right over here. Yep, yep. So I'll go ahead, pull my power back, and make our turn to downwind. And then when we're midfield, we will report midfield left downwind for four. And this time I'm going to do a better job of managing my airspeed. See, in that, that river down there, you can see air station. The air station is right there. You see that clearing? And then you hop over that, and that's, that's going to be like the Outer Banks area down there. See that? So this river, if we go out to um, go out to Ogre Cove, we would pop over that and then over that area right there, and Ogre Cove would be down that away. Yes. And we're already at 
Guardian flap range so we can take the flaps down 10 degrees. Establish a nice rate of descent of about 400, trim off the air the pressures. And here's our field, and that's about 45 degrees. Take a left turn. It's looking good. Or 95 miles an hour. This is in miles an hour. <laughs> okay. And then pull a little bit of power and then flaps up. Slow up to about 95. And we can start our turn in. Okay. Let's manage that airspeed a little bit better this time. as it did before. You can do that by pulling a little bit of power. Driving off the ears. Yeah, driving off the pressures a little bit. Put in a little bit of power. And our airspeed looks pretty good. This approach feels a little bit better already. Feels a little bit better already. Red to white, looking pretty good. You gotta put the microphone closer. Say what? If you wanna change your course, you would have to let them know, right? Yeah, I would have to let them know that I wanted to go maybe out of the pattern and maybe up to Washington or down to the banks or okay. over to Jacksonville. Yeah, I would have okay. to do that. All right, good. Get good power. Up to about 900 now. Pull back the power to arrest our ascent. Stay at the pattern altitude of a thousand. Trim off the pressures. <laughs> See, and they like that's that's over Jacksonville, like down that area. Yeah. Right. Did you see how the cloud layer? We wouldn't get too far before we would be over them, and that's not a very good place to be. Six to Romeo's midfield, left downward for four. Six to Romeo, continue on the downward. I'll call you next turn. I got a vehicle on the runway, doing a runway inspection. I got that traffic on site on the runway. We'll continue our downward and we'll call our base. Six to Romeo. There's a truck. 
And he's doing his sweep, I think, so he's just going to call our, our base and then we'll turn around and go back. We get to extend out. See, look how much forest there is dead. Isn't that crazy? You see that? so we can make our crosswind leg nicely lined up with 2-2, very good. Got 600. Everything is in the green, nice and coordinated. Altitude going, everything's still in the green, full power. Excellent. Lights. See, I'm always, uh, you always have to be doing something. Yeah, you always yeah. have to be checking to make sure that nothing's going wrong because shit can get away from you really quick, you know? Yeah. All right, now yeah, we'll make our downwind turn. Nobody coming. And 900 feet, we can go ahead and pull back the power to 2100. And looking pretty good. Oh, Dad, how much fun. I love being up here with you. This is great, isn't it? That's the uh, power for the, or the uh, control for the intercom. Ah, okay, okay. All right, great. Stop. 
that comes up, you know, it kind of takes away your airspeed and then you're you're kind of stuck with nothing holding you up and there's a bird right there. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I can always bleed off that speed right in the last, like, 100, 150 feet, you know? Okay, okay. So I'll pull the power back a little bit because we are a little bit high and just maintain that airspeed. So when you pull the power back, and you hold the nose, you see, like, you hold the nose where it is, see how the airspeed bleeds off. Yeah. And then when you capture the airspeed you want, you just add the, the power to keep it, see? And this, uh, the low wings have a tendency to like a little bit of sink, you know? So you could lose that airspeed really quickly, oh, okay. yeah. Same. Great. And power out. around the pattern and look I hit 3500 hours
Okay, now we'll do the checklist, okay? Okay. So the checklist uh, for uh, after landing and then stopping engine, we have the flaps are up. Uh, fuel pump is going to be off. The landing light is off. Our so is off. The transponder is on standby. Yeah, uh, we're going to do a flight inspection, so I need to access next, the terminal through the end of uh, Avionics are going to go off. I'll turn those off in a second. Uh, have right beacon lights are good. Uh, electric fuel pump I already put is off. Throttle full aft. Okay, now let me stop my recorder here. Alright, so that when I unplug this, there we go. Alright, so it was a 35 minute flight.